All right. Uh, hello and welcome to the demo for Sprint 3 of the Bento SearchWorks Requests and Controlled Digital Lending Work Cycle. Uh, once again, we've been working on several projects at once and making progress on each. Uh, reminder that this is a six week work cycle ending right before fall quarter 2020 is set to begin. And the team includes Camille Villa in the tech lead role, Jennifer Vine as the UX designer, Chris Beer, Jesse Keck, and Jack Reed from the Access team, Shelly Doljack and Darcy Rueda from the Library Systems team, Mark Matienzo as the liaison to DLSS Direct, and I'm Sarah C. Stone in the product owner role. And today uh, we're going to have a quick demo of the mini Bento work that's been done in SearchWorks. And to show us that, I'm going to pass it to Jesse Keck. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Sarah. Um, so uh, I'm uh, showing a SearchWorks application. Um, I'm showing this locally now uh, because um, we haven't pushed all of these changes up to production as we'd like to synchronize some of these as we roll out uh, some of the changes that we have been demonstrating in the previous uh, videos um, in, in the Bento application. Um, but kind of one thing that I'll show um, is that uh, we have, uh, we will uh, be adding the two new blocks uh, that we've shown for the Bento application um, to the SearchWorks homepage. So links out to um, LibGuides uh, as well as the exhibits application. Um, what currently is in production is we have made some uh, changes to the text uh, on some of these blocks um, as well as some of the layout and styling changes of these um, blocks where we link out to the Bento application and um, links to pages that link uh, list other uh, search tools. So this whole section has kind of um, gotten a bit of a revamp, uh, some of which is in production and some of which, uh, particularly these two blocks, will get pushed out to production um, very shortly. Um, the other thing that we uh, have done in the application um, is related to the mini Bento. Um, so in this uh, page, I've basically done just a catalog search for linguistics. And um, this is a, a block that has been in our application for some time um, that we call the mini Bento. Um, because I'm in a catalog search, I'm seeing a, a, a call out to um, execute this same search in our Articles Plus interface, uh, as well as I'm given some contextual information about when that search is executed, how many results, and kind of what the format of those results are going to be. Um, so that's been there. Um, one of the things that you know we've now added is uh, this guide section. So this kind of similarly follows some of the patterns that are in the guides bento box uh, in the bento application. Um, we're executing the same search um, to the same API. Um, we were giving a bit of a, a more limited display as we're just bringing in the names of the top three guides that were returned. Um, and then similarly linking out uh, to execute that same search um, for uh, all guide pages. So this matches the, um, the, the, the link in the Bento application um, that will do the same thing. So this is uh, you know, basically just uh, mimicking some of that behavior there. Um, I guess I will also mention some of the changes that uh, uh, are in production now. We, we did make some uh, markup changes to the existing Articles Plus and the um, uh, facet area here to improve some of the markup of the HTML. Um, so that, that is an improvement that is in production now. And I will also just kind of point out to show that when I click uh, into articles and execute the same search in articles, we're going to get the same, uh, we'll see the same block. So uh, we will get call out to guides for uh, queries for both uh, catalog and articles plus results. 